At the end of this video, you will be able to know of what is technology in our lives, how science contributes to technology, determine what is human flourishing in terms of science and technology, how is technology a way of revealing, and understand Heidegger's analysis of technology. Lastly, to briefly discuss how technology gives reality. I want to ask, what is technology for you? As a human being, it is really convenient for me since it makes my life easier, my work faster, and I could even consider it as my companion. You're right about that. Technology isn't inherently good or bad. It's the culture we build around it and the way we use it. With the right regulations, technologies built around amazing data could be used and significantly improve lives, and if there's no control and restrictions in using technology, it may lead to psychological and physical issues, such as eye strain and difficulty focusing on important tasks. Now, how is technology a way of revealing? Huh? What do you mean? According to Heidegger, technology is a mode of revealing. Technology comes to presence in the rhyme where revealing and unconsultment take place, where truth happens. Don't worry, let's talk about Mr. Heidegger's statements to further broaden our knowledge when it takes come to technology. Our main topic for this video is all about technology as a way of revealing. How important is technology in our lives? So, as a student, for me, it helps you to find more information for our education. And for my mother and my father, it helps, I mean, rather technology helps them for their daily lives. And most people are dependent now in technology since it makes life easier and more convenient. So let me read you the reason why technology is important in our lives. Technology brings skills, knowledge, process, techniques, and tools together for solving problems of human beings, making their life secure and easier. We use technology to travel, to communicate, to learn, to do business, and to live in comfort. As you can see before, peop when people doesn't have technology, their lives are way more hard since they do things manually. Unlike us now, we have technology that helps us, machines that will do this kind of work, and even us, we can communicate our family even if they are far, far away through the use of artificial intelligence, messenger, Facebook, and any communicating device through our gadgets. Science and technology. It is an interdisciplinary topic encompassing science, technology, and the interactions. Science is a systematic enterprise that builds an organized knowledge in the form of explanations and predictions about nature and the universe. Science contributes to technology in ways. Number one, new knowledge which serves as a direct source of ideas for new technological possibilities. Every technology has its scientific explanation. Number two, source of tools and techniques for more efficient engineering design and a knowledge base for evaluation of feasibility of designs. So we all know that because of science, technology is created. Number three, research instrumentation laboratory techniques, and analytical methods used in research that eventually find their way into design or industrial practices. 
in the research, especially if you research for your future inventions, we need the research instrumentation, laboratory techniques, and analytical methods in which science help it a lot. Number four, practice of research as a source of, for development and assimilation of the new human skills and capabilities, eventually useful for technology. Because of science, there are more inventions now made from, I mean, discovered rather from our scientists. So those are the ways in which the science contributes greatly to technology. Human flourishing in science and technology. Human flourishing involves the rational use of one's individual human potentialities, including talents, abilities, virtues in the pursuit of his freely and rationally chosen values and goals. Science and technology must be treated as part of human life that needs reflective and meditative thinking. Heidegger Technology as a way of revealing Technology, according to Heidegger, must be understood as a way of revealing. Revealing is one of the terms Heidegger developed himself in order to make it possible to think what? According to him, it is not a thought anymore. It is his translation of the Greek word aletonin, which means to discover, to uncover what is covered over. Related to this verb, it is the independent noun al etea, which is usually translated as truth. Everything we prepare or think to of interact with emerge out of concealment into unconcealment. By entering into a particular relation with reality, reality revealed in a specific way. In addition, technology embodies a specific way of revealing the world are revealing which humans takes power of reality. Technology reveals the world as raw material, available for production and manipulation. The technological way of revealing was not chosen by humans. We need to open up the possibility of relying on technologies while not being enslaved to them and seeing them as manifestations of an understanding of being. Everything undergoes the process of truth. From our childhood to our present age, we have undergone the revelation process. We might wondering why Heidegger still seek for the meaning of technology, if everyone knows what technology is. For example, a mining technology today. It is a good example of this mode of revealing things. Tracks of lands reveal themselves as something challenged because man sees them as a source of energy. And this energy can be stored so that man can summon them at his binding. Shortly, nature reveals itself in modern things as things of manipulations, as things that yields to energy whenever man demands them to do so. Heidegger's analysis of technology consists of three parts. First, technology is not an instrument. It is a way of understanding the world. Second, Technology is not a human activity, but develops the human control. Third, technology is the highest danger risking us to only see the world through technological thinking. 